humans haven't been back to the moon since 1972. But that is all about to change with NASA's Artemis missions. Together, let's figure out all about the missions, launch dates, and future objectives. Let's get started. The Artemis program, for those who don't know, is NASA's mission to send the first woman and person of color to the moon. And in the process, further prepare mankind for deep space missions to Mars and beyond. The Artemis program is named, of course, after Artemis, the Greek goddess of wild animals and the hunt, the sister of the Greek god Apollo, which is the namesake of the original moon missions. The Artemis program is a U.S. and European space collaboration following on the heels of a flurry of moon exploration attempts by, among others, India, Israel, South Korea, and China. So there's a lot at stake, both in terms of national pride and scientific progress. In fact, the Artemis program is so important, it is unofficially broken down into three, three broad stages. The first stage, Artemis 1, will essentially be a dress rehearsal, a test flight of the Space Launch System, SLS, as well as an uncrewed test flight of the Orion spacecraft around the moon itself. The second stage, Artemis 2, will be the main show. Real crew members riding the SLS and Orion spacecraft around the moon. And Artemis 3, the third stage is a nebulous planning stage where NASA and its partners will lay the groundwork for regular crewed missions in, on, and around the moon's surface. For the purposes of this video, we will focus on Artemis 1 and the two marvels of science and engineering that make it all possible. The Orion spacecraft and the SLS space launch system. But first, I'd like to remind you that our team at Brain on Fire is working round the clock to bring you the latest space and space tech news. So if you like our content, please like and subscribe to us. Also, if you sign up for our newsletter today, we will share with you a link that enables you to track the Orion capsule as it journeys to the moon and back. Anyway, back to the show. The Orion spacecraft is a true marvel in space engineering composed of the American-made the American -made crew module that was manufactured by Lockheed Martin in their New Orleans facility. It is built to house and sustain four to six astronauts through interstellar travel. And attached to it is the European made service module, the life support and propulsion wing of the Orion spacecraft that was made as a collaboration between the ESA and Airbus. Attached to the module, you will also notice four solar wings. Now, let's get into more detail. Let's start with the crew module. The crew module is to be a reusable transportation capsule that serves as a habitat for the crew and provides storage for crew, crew consumables, and consumables and research instruments. The crew module also contains the docking port for crew transfers to larger space facilities like the ISS or the proposed Lunar Gateway. It will be about 5 meters or 16.5 feet in diameter and about 10.5 3.3 meters in height. The inside compartments will actually have about two and a half times the volume of the Apollo capsules, but given that this was that this capsule was designed to handle about double the amount of people as the Apollo capsule, I'm not sure that this makes a difference for creature comforts. Meanwhile, the service module draws inspiration from the ATV or Automated Transfer Vehicle that brought supplies to the ISS between 2008 and 2014 before SpaceX's Dragon cargo ship took over many of its tasks. The module's main engine is the AJ-10 from Aerojet Rocketdyne and it swivels from side to side to control the direction of flight. Yet, there are also eight 4D-11 engines that will take care of maneuvering and position control. 
For the upcoming Artemis 1 flight, it will carry about 8.6 tons of fuel. During crewed flights, the service module will carry water, oxygen, and other technologies to make the task to make the Orion spacecraft habitable. Lastly, let's talk about the SLS rocket. Though many of the internet will debate this until they're blue in the face, today the SLS rocket is the most powerful rocket ever built, providing 15% more thrust than the previous record holder, the Saturn V rocket. The SLS rocket is 322 feet tall and weighs and weighs in at about 5.5 million pounds. It utilizes four RS-25 engines at the base of its core stage for main thrust, twin boosters at the side of the core stage called SRBs will give the rocket extra power needed to escape gravity. In fact, these booster rockets will provide 75% of the total thrust during the first two minutes of the rocket's flight. The main purpose of this first version of the SLS, that's right, there are more versions of the rocket currently in development. The main purpose is to be able to lift 27 tons of cargo into orbit. Future versions of the rocket will hopefully be able to lift 46 tons into orbit. Into orbit. And to wrap everything up, here are the proposed launch times for Artemis 1. The first is August 29th. Launch opportunity starts at 8.33 a.m. and lasts for two hours. The Orion capsule would return 22 days later for an October 10th splashdown. The second launch opportunity is September 2nd and the last opportunity that we know is September 5th. Well guys, thanks for watching another episode of Brain on Fire. Don't forget to like, subscribe. Until next time, bye.